So on this first episode, I really want to take an honest look back at 2018, the ups and downs, and also plan ahead for 2019. 2018 for me was an interesting year. It was my first year as a true singles competitor. I was able to work my first real name and that was former WWE star D'Lo Brown, which was a great learning experience. I'd have to say that my highest high was wrestling for Smack in Greece on a personal and professional level. So on a personal note, I was able to work in front of friends and family in Greece, which I didn't think was possible for, for a very long time. Wasn't sure if it was going to happen. And luckily it did. On a professional note, it was my first main event match, my first triple threat match, and my first international match. I was able to do all of that at once in front of a crowd that isn't as accustomed to professional wrestling as the American audiences. So they're not pre-programmed to react this, the, a certain way to move spots and things like that as an American audience is. So it was great to go in there and get the desired reactions, genuine reactions from the fans where I wanted them to be uh, with the help of, of the other two guys in, in that match. For me, it was a, a big confidence booster to know that I can do that. I can go out there in front of a different crowd, a different type of audience, and still have a good match and still get the reactions I wanted. So on a performance level, it was a huge boost. On a personal level, it just, it was amazing to be able to do that and do something I'm so passionate about in front of relatives when I didn't really think it was, it was going to be a possibility. After this, I kind of fell into a bit of a funk in November. Looking back at 2018 at that point, I hadn't really gotten to the promotions and wrestled on the shows I had wanted to. I had high hopes for 2018 that I honestly did not meet and that's on me for you know various different reasons. I fell into a bit of a, of a low point where I was questioning pro wrestling, I was questioning myself and whether wrestling was viable for me and just a whole bunch of doubts were swirling in my head but I was thankfully able to, with the help of some great people, reset myself, change up some things and I'm honestly excited for the first time in a while about my, my journey, my odyssey in professional wrestling for 2019 and going forward. So with that being said, I'd like to talk about 2019 in terms of Andros. So for 2018, I debuted the face of Panhellenism. 2019, I'm actually gonna take a step back from that. It wasn't really aligned with where I was and actually wasn't aligned with who, who I am. And it was difficult to portray that face of Panhellenism when I honestly don't even feel that. So instead, the Andros that I'm going to portray is a much truer, much more honest version of me, and we can get into that in a different episode. I'm Andros, I'm on an odyssey, I'm on this journey in professional wrestling. I still have the goal of eventually becoming the face of Panhellenism, but it's gonna be through everything I do in the squared circle. It's gonna be through wrestling that I achieve everything, and the odyssey, my odyssey, is going to encompass all of that. This show is, is part of that. The new, the new drive, the new focus of my character. I really want to just be more open and, and connect more with myself first and foremost, but then of course with the audience. So that's what I'm looking forward to most. Really putting my, my head down and focusing on what really matters and that's connection and putting on the best match I possibly can every time I, I step in through those ropes. Thank you.